Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is reveal day for the Fab Five for our animal themed collab. So thanks for popping over to my channel if you're new here, if you are a newbie and you fancy subscribing, please hit the button down below. I am doing a collab today with the Fab Five, which is myself, it is Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room, Andrew from Andrew Meg's, Carol from Sew Carol, and Trish from Pinky's Farm. These four women are incredible. If you don't know them and you haven't checked out the YouTube channels, they will all be linked below, so please go and check them all out. This one was my turn to pick a theme, and I went for animal-themed fabrics. So it could be an animal print, so it is a bit more sort of um, on the nose with the theme or it could be something that's animal related so I chose to go down the route of a bit more literal and pick something with physical animals on and I wanted sort of I as some of you may know I absolutely love truly pink fabric I have truly pink surrounding me everywhere and the reason why I wanted to pick something from Tudor was because so many of her collections incorporate animals so I was thinking, do I make a shirt, which I've done before, and I don't really need another Tudor shirt. I've got one in my wardrobe already. And then I thought, do I make some dungarees because it would be in a woven fabric, but then I thought it's not going to be heavy enough. Um, and I was just trying to rack my brain as to what I could do that was going to be something that was made from woven fabric that would incorporate Tula, that would incorporate some of the animal prints. Um, and I came up with a pattern that is actually a free download. So I will link it below. It is on the Benina website. Um, there is some problems with it though. So I will speak about that in a moment. But I will go and pop it on the item that I made. And I will be back with you in two seconds. So this is what I made. I made the baseball cap pattern that is on the Benina website. But as you can see, it is a very snug and slightly awkward fit so it kind of does fit and it kind of doesn't it's I need to size up the pattern slightly I think what I will do is just reduce the seam allowance from one centimeter down to a quarter of an inch and it should free up enough room for it to be more comfortable I am however going to elongate the panels that are created so the panels that actually make the hat, these are the back panels. So what I'm going to do is actually drop this down by probably another half an inch just to make the actual hat a bit deeper. Um, but it is a great pattern. It would probably fit a lady or a child better because I've probably got a slightly larger head than the pattern was designed for. Um, and it is a female that is modelling the pattern on the Benina website. Um, so I went for the new true colours um neons and neutrals and the new everglow range which has got my favorite which is the little hippos which are the whole way around i will take it off for you and i will show you so they are there is the hippos around here there is a little pucker on the front of it which we'll just ignore for the moment this is going to be a um semi wearable twirl so there is the hippos all around, which are sort of fussy cuts so that you'd actually get some hippos in. It's quite nice though the way it comes together. There's lots of top stitching, so the top seams all top stitched flat. So it does come together really nicely and sort of looks really professional once it's finished. Um, I just popped two poppers on the back and used um, the Everglow. This is the contrast fairy glow, uh, fairy flakes that goes with this range, as is what is on here. I top stitched on here and. I actually put some, um, I used two layers of interfacing on the bottom part, a layer of interfacing on the top, and then inside that I used a layer of um, clear acetate and used a size 110 needle so that I could actually go sew through it to do all the top stitching. And I just went really slow, but the machine went through it fine, it pierced through it. The, the acetate is very, very fine, but it just gives it a little bit more structure. Um, and it'll also give it a bit more spring to it, which is what you want from, I think with just interfacing, it would sag over time. Um, and I just lined it with a black um, twill fabric that I had laying around. But I really love it. I do need to make some adjustments. I will make another one. Luckily, this was just some, I had some fairly large offcuts of the um, hippos that I'd used for a different project. And I will 
I probably will throw it in my car if I need to have a hat because it is it kind of it kind of fits it kind of doesn't it looks all right I'll probably wear it who knows go and check out Jen Andra Carol and Trish after this and I will see you all soon um probably in the next Friday Sews video take care thanks for watching bye